We're ready. Vancouver Business Network members and most welcome guests. Thank you for joining us this evening to listen to the presentation of Orit Esselin and Joel Tall and Tino. Yeah. Orit and Joel are full-time creatives, YouTubers, and founders of Esatino Artists. They have a passion for helping others understand the power of video marketing. In 2015, they launched their YouTube channel dedicated to teaching creative entrepreneurs how to grow their business and establish a solid online presence. Today, their channel has over 30,000 subscribers and is growing at the rate of more than 800 subscribers each month. Arita and Jewel have helped over 56,000 students through their online course community and millions more through their YouTube tutorials and private mentoring services. Attendees at this presentation, when you have questions, would you please type the questions into the chat? And in the course of their presentation, either Jewel or Orit will answer your questions. Orit and Jewel, over to you, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much, Roger, for having us here. And thank you to everyone who is here with us live in the Zoom, as well as who's watching on YouTube in the days to follow or the weeks to follow. So today we're talking to you about seven ways to make money as a small YouTube channel. And we want to share two main takeaways here to start off our presentation. So number one is that the size of your channel is not directly correlated with how much money you make. So this is kind of something that a lot of people think, you know, a lot of people see a channel with millions of subscribers and they assume that that channel's making a lot of money. That's not necessarily the case. So we really want to empower you with this information to believe that even if you have a small amount of subscribers, you can still earn money from your channel and you can do it not just with YouTube monetization, which we'll talk about in a second, but also in other different ways. And essentially you're creating, your YouTube channel is a vehicle, it's a funnel that is bringing other people back into your world and there's many different things you can do with that. So that's the, the main takeaway here. And the second thing as well is that we want you to listen to these different ways and not necessarily think that you have to do all of them at once, but pick at least one way to implement for your YouTube channel and as well that's the way that's going to be relevant for what you are doing and aligned with your goals in your business. So those are the two main takeaways that we have here for you. So this is our YouTube channel. It's called Esatino Artists and uh, for those of you who want to join us on the channel you can search for Esatino Artists um, in YouTube. So we launched this, this is like our baby, our business's baby. Um, we launched this in 2015 and it, today it has over 31,000 subscribers, but it took time to get there. It took time to get there. And that's not to say that your channel will too. It depends. There's many, you know, it depends on the niche that you're in and there's different variables that we're going to talk about. But we, we do this full time, you know, we're full time YouTubers. Uh, we went full time in 2018. Jewel was early, uh, earlier than that. She was able to leave her nine to five job. Um, for me, it was in 2018. So within those three years, you know, we're just able to go all in with this. And this YouTube channel has really been an asset for us that has carried our business forward in many different ways, especially you know, with what happened earlier in the year, mm -hmm. with the whole pandemic, um, if, if, you know, this, this channel has, uh, this channel has provided this, this channel, actually, we saw so much more growth in those months to follow, or in those past months, but in, you know, the previous years, or it, it fluctuates, depending on what goes on. So I don't know if you want to tell a little bit about the story. Of what yeah, so a little bit pandemic. about, um, I'll start off with a little bit of our channel and yeah. how we started. So sure. um, we signed up for a YouTube channel in 2011 and I literally just signed up for it. Mm -hmm. And then over the course of the years leading up to 2015, we had just randomly uploaded 
tutorial videos, just tutorial videos on Facebook, on Twitter, just whatever we were doing at the time. And in 2015, I noticed that we had 300 subscribers, 300 something subscribers. And at the time when you have, when you're under a certain amount of subscribers, you get an email notification for each new subscriber. We don't get that anymore because it would be explosive at this point, but we would get every once a week, I would get an email saying, oh, you have a new subscriber. And it got to the point of 300 something. And, you know, I was kind of looking at this and, you know, thinking to myself that we barely even try on this YouTube channel. And, you know, we're getting comments that people are saying that they like our teaching style. If they want more, they want more tutorials on that subject. And we just started to get more views and subscribers. And I said to Uri, like, what if we actually try with this YouTube channel? What if we actually gave a full effort? And so in 2015, we started uploading more. We didn't have a schedule, didn't have a theme or anything like that. And then uh, we actually got an email from someone uh, who works at YouTube. And at the time they were offering a mentorship program to small YouTubers. And they were doing a three mentorship call where they would uh, have these half an hour calls with you and talk strategy. And so we had our, th our three calls and the, the takeaways that we got from it were upload consistently, same day, same time, and have themes to the days that you upload. And so we were like, okay. And so we started uploading in the beginning, Monday to Thursday, and each day had a different theme. And then before we knew it, we hit 1000 subscribers and then 3,000, 5,000, and then it's gone to the point where uh, now that you know we have this whole pandemic thing happening, our stats just went through the roof pretty much like when it happened in March, and it just skyrocketed, not just for us, but a lot of other people, and the watch time, the views, and everything. Overnight, everyone just had to learn how to be online, how to use Zoom, how to use all this stuff, and everyone was going to YouTube to try and figure out how to do things. So yeah, YouTube is our full-time thing. We are very passionate about it. Anyone who's interested, we wanna share how we did it and how you can do it too. Yeah, and our, our channel is an educational-based channel. We release all kinds of tutorials sharing how we make money online, how we market online with various different tools and platforms. And also we share a little bit, a, a little bit about ourselves so that people can connect with us, the people behind the tutorials and sharing some mindset life lessons, stories, that kind of thing. So this is um, really our, our branded YouTube channel that we, we created. And the first, the, I think this is the main way that people know how to or have heard of how to make money with your YouTube channel is by getting approved for YouTube monetization. So what that means is, is that when as a creator on YouTube, when you create content and release videos on your channel, you can apply to be in, in uh, YouTube, in the YouTube monetization program, so that they will put Google ads on your videos. And then, and there's, you can see here the different types of uh, ads. They can be display ads, they can be overlay ads. So they can either be, they can either play before the video, during the video, or after the video. And there's also banner ads on the side. So there's different types of ads here. And the thing though, with YouTube monetization, is that you do need to be approved. So uh, as some of you might know, you need to have at least a thousand subscribers on your channel and you also need 4,000 watch hours. And those two pieces of eligibility criteria must be met within a 12 month period. And the reason why that they do this is because they wanna know that you're serious. In the beginning when we first started, everyone had monetization right away, even if you had zero subscribers. But over time, they've seen that uh, they want more dedicated channels. They want channels that are gonna be consistent. So that's why they, they put this up. They're, they're saying, okay, if you can get to 1,000 subscribers, you can get to 4,000 hours watch. Okay, we'll turn on Google ads for your videos. Mm -hmm. And the rate at which you achieve that eligibility criteria, again, it's totally different 
on a you know per channel basis how often you upload it, there's just so many different variables it's not very black and white and the other thing as well with youtube monetization is that it fluctuates so even once you are approved into the program you can now put ads on your videos that you create this income fluctuates completely it, it's um very much dependent on what's going on in the world yes <laughs> it is very affected by the world in yeah. both good and bad right now it is affected in a good way because everybody is online either on youtube or doing netflix so right now it's in a good way but back when there was the whole um Adpocalypse. they call it adpocalypse it's when uh, major brands like walmart were pulling out of youtube channels because they didn't want certain content uh, being displayed with their ads and so YouTube restructured and so uh, that's why this kind of thing was put into place and you know you 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 can't rely solely on YouTube monetization it's great but it cannot be your only way because it, it will fluctuate yeah and it's not easily predicted as well um, like I said earlier just because you know if you have a bigger channel doesn't mean you're necessarily making more through the ads this is true you know we are sometimes with a relatively small channel over 30,000 subscribers are sometimes earning more than a channel with a, a, million. a million subscribers and we see this because I mean every, a lot of um, creators YouTube creators create these videos sharing their income uh, how much they're making so it's it's not very black and white it's not easily predicted also it's dependent um, on many different variables like your what you're talking content, about yeah. the niche the country what kinds of ads are being placed on your videos mm -hmm. yeah so you got to think about it from like the advertisers perspective as well what you know what kinds of videos will the advertisers want to place their content on um, this is why a vlog channel, so like a lifestyle vlog type channel, might not necessarily be earning as much as in an educational beginning. channel. Yes, in the beginning. Yeah, once, you, once they've built a following, it, it could be different. So this is why we want to share with you um, other ways, other ways to make money because, you know, some of you might not even have achieved that eligibility criteria. And even once you have, it's still not stable. So what I want to show you here quickly is the ad revenue that we made uh, in 2019 on our channel. And you can see here, so this is uh, this amount here, 12,000 is in US. So I just put it uh, below here. This is the amount, so over $17,000 Canadian for the entire year. And I, what I want you to pay attention to is all of these fluctuations, right? It goes up and down, up and down. And not even on, um, on a smaller scale, but on a larger scale, if you follow the line here, it dips, right? It's not a clear cut straight path. So it goes up and down, like we said, depending on many different variables, what's going on in the world. And uh, right here in this next slide, this is the channel analytics for um, what we're making this year. So this year today, from June. January to June. Yeah, June 7th is when I took the screenshot. So you can see this year is doing much better because of everybody being online. Um, it's There's you know, tons of watch hours happening right now because yeah. this uh, income, this revenue is from when you, if you watch an ad for a certain amount of time, if you accidentally click on it when you're trying to skip it, that YouTube channel gets paid. If you accidentally click on a banner or if you let it play the entire time, that's how, that those are, that's Google ads basically. Yeah, and it's not like, um, you know, every single video earns differently as well on your channel. One video, we have one video that's earned over $4,000 and then other, like a lot of other videos that earn like very, very little. So you never really know what's going to stick. You don't, um, you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily say that, oh, because I ranked this video on the first page, it's going to make them a lot of money. Um, again, it depends on what ads are placed in the videos, the advertisers. The, the perfect match is that you have, if you're creating a video where it's highly searched, you're able to rank for it and advertisers want to place their ads on that video. So that's kind of um, a good match. But again, um, it, yeah, it's not necessarily predictable. Um, so how else can you make money from your YouTube channel? 
So here is a second way. So uh, I heard someone say earlier when we were doing the, uh, the introductions there, affiliate marketing. So think about what products or services do you use and that you believe in that you could talk about on your channel. Now this necessarily doesn't have to mean you have to do product reviews, that's just one way. Maybe it's just that we actually had a client, we had a coaching client, um, we, we coached her on starting her YouTube channel and she's in the parenting space. She talks about peaceful parenting and there are certain books that she recommends her, um, that the parents give to their children to read. So we actually uh, told her to talk about that and create those videos and then she can put links to those books in the description. So there's many different ways that you can um, link to an affiliate product or service. Basically, it means that you're, um, you're endorsing a product or service by someone else. And if someone purchases through your link, you're receiving some sort of commission from it. Now, the cool thing is the first thumbnail that you see there, um, I was doing our um, basic YouTube setup gear. So basically this uh, webcam that, I'm, that we're using, this microphone, the ring light, like that what are, wherever what you see right in the now. picture, like that's yeah. what I did a video on to show um, other people who want to do YouTube videos. Uh, I put the, the Amazon links to all those products and I'm sharing, you know, my experience with the webcam. Like we've had this webcam since 2015 this microphone for three years and this uh, ring light for like two years. And I'm just basically sharing the setup and my experience, my honest review and opinion. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm just saying my experience. And then, you know, at the beginning and en end of your video, you mentioned that you put your links. So the Amazon affiliate links, you, you tell people that, you know, if you are interested in checking this video out, uh, sorry, interested in checking this, product out, you guys can head down into the description. And I'm sure that if you watch YouTube, you've seen these kinds of videos where people always refer to the description and it really works. It, when, you, when you tell people to go into the description, they do and they check out those links. And so what's cool is, you know, we'll be referring a camera or something on Amazon, but then they'll go buy a book or some clothes or some popcorn and then we'll get a commission off of that. The cool thing is with Amazon is um, whatever they put in their shopping cart, you get commission on. It's not just this camera or this microphone. Yeah. Whatever they buy in their shopping trip, um, after clicking your link, uh, you will be compensated. And it's cool because I'm already going to be doing a video on this. I'm a, we're a YouTube channel teaching other YouTubers. So I'm already gonna be talking about this. So might as well put the links in there. So it's nice to leverage off of the views that way. And it doesn't have to be Amazon. There's Walmart, Home Depot, uh, other major retailers, but Amazon is the one that's known because everybody buys stuff on Amazon, especially during this time. And everyone trusts Amazon and they, they have a, a better affiliate program. We also do this on softwares and tools. So softwares that we use, um, that lady that was talking about how she likes WordPress, we have a specific WordPress theme where we describe you know, our experience with it. We're basically doing a review of the theme and we only endorse and share things that would benefit others and that we have a positive experience to. We yeah. don't put out stuff that we don't endorse or we don't like. So that's why it makes it so easy to talk about it because it's just an honest review. I'm just saying our experience. And so when people are starting their YouTube channels, I usually recommend doing those kinds of videos because uh, you don't need much prep for it. You, you just describe if you like what you like about the item, the service, and if you would recommend it to people and you would say certain things about it, like certain features, what stands out, why you like it, that type of thing. Yeah. You're talking about what you're passionate about. Anytime you can find something to talk about that you're passionate about, you're excited about, it's going to be an easier video to film. It's just natural that way. 
So, um, so yeah, we, w this is one example here, what you should know about Bluehost. So I created a video on Bluehost because that's the hosting company that we use for our website. We have created a few tutorials on website uh, on starting up your website. So with, you know, anybody who, who um, I'm obviously recommending Bluehost in that video. And if anybody decides to purchase a plan through Bluehost through my link, I get an $100 commission. So it, every single commission is different depending on the company, um, depending on the platform, the tool, whatever it is that you're using. You can also do this with, um, with other people's online courses. So we have a good friend, his name is Fernando. He is excellent at uh, talking about Etsy print on demand. Um, and that whole world, which I won't go into, but he's, he's an expert at it. He has great content on it. So we actually invited him to come to our channel and we did an interview with him because we have an audience for Etsy and we don't have a course on Etsy, but he does and he has a great one. So we did an interview with him and, um, and of course he got a chance to promote his course as well, giving a ton of value in the interview. You know, it's not, none of, none of these are full out promotional videos on the product or service. You're basically giving value in the video and, and you're leaving the decision, the buying decision up to the viewer at the end of the day. So with, um, with that course, you know, again, if anybody wanted to purchase it, we would receive a commission on the back end. So start to think about, you know, these different things. What would be valuable for your audience? What, what tools? It doesn't just have to be tech. It could be books. It could be different uh, pieces of equipment. You can get Clothing. anything on Amazon. Yeah, so. there's so many channels. Like exactly. You can get literally anything on Amazon and put an affiliate link to it. And the affiliate program is free to sign up. It's very easy mm -hmm. to use. We have many tutorials on how to sign up for it and how to use the links and things like that. And it's cool because you put the link, you do the video once, you put the link in there once and it lives online, it lives mm -hmm. online. And then we get these email notifications when people purchase Fernando's course or get Bluehost through our link. And it's exciting. It's fun knowing that, you know, we did that video one time or that interview one time and it, the, the sales continue to come through. Yeah. And it all adds up. It all adds up. Um, yeah, there are channels, you know, I'm sure you've seen them based entirely around reviewing products. That's something you could also do um, if you wanted to. This is uh, one of our clients that we also mentored. His name is uh, Cheeks and his channel is called Product Patrol. He just reviews like he loves food. That's his passion. So food he, and home stuff. And yeah. I, I taught him how to sign up for Amazon affiliate and he actually gets commissions on people buying chips and cereal and all that stuff Just because basic stuff. he does reviews on that, on those kinds of products. Yeah. So the third way that we wanted to share with you is sponsored videos. So this is when a company will approach you, you know, you have, um, you have your YouTube channel up and you'd be surprised. You don't need to have your channel be again with tens of thousands of subscribers in order to get these kinds of invitations. Um, so sponsor videos, you'll have a company approach you and they'll either ask if you'll promote their product or service uh, by paying for you to create that video and put it on your channel or, and, or they'll offer you free product or service in order to talk about that in your video and or also another way for you to earn is you'll get a commission if you're talking about in your video and anybody decides to purchase that product or service so again a little bit of a, a, an overlap with affiliate marketing here i'm just gonna you do a to side note there's a question about yeah. um, amazon affiliate mm -hmm. so uh, kev asked uh, what are the minimum requirements to be approved for amazon affiliate marketing program it's pretty much um pretty instant when you sign up for it. It's just basically like filling out a regular application account form. You just put in all your name, details, address. You obviously have to be of age. And then there's one part where they ask um, for a website. But um, in the tutorial video that I do, I tell people to put their YouTube channel. Like if you don't have a website, you can put a link to your YouTube channel or Facebook profile, something like that. Um, to show that um, you have a website, but after you click everything and click complete, put in all your details, 
you pretty much have the account. So it was just, yeah, there's not too, there's not very many requirements. Awesome. Is there another question there? Nope, that's all. Good. Okay. So um, back to sponsored videos, the one example that I wanted to show you here is that I also have a separate channel that's specifically for my music. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a performing artist. I also release my own music. So that's what this channel's about. I have original music, but I also like to share what I'm learning on my journey in terms of promoting myself as a DIY music artist. So on this channel, I actually just, I have 1700 subscribers, you can see here. I just got approved for the monetization, uh, YouTube monetization uh, back in May. That's where this little increase starts over here. And I've earned $30 so far. Woo -woo. US. Yeah. <laughs> from, the, uh, from the AdSense revenue there. Exciting. But what's even more exciting is that in the past two months, before I was even approved for monetization, is that this channel has already earned close to $1,000, um, actually more, because with the, that was US, so if you convert it to Canadian for us, it would be more than, more than 1,000, um, from sponsorships, from specifically doing this kind of thing. And you know, I, you, you can seek out to be someone, um, to, you can seek out other brands and companies and offer them, oh, would you like me to do a video on my channel? But um, for us, you know, we just, we just create content on what we love to talk about. And then sometimes these companies will reach out to you and um, you got to first try out their product or service. If it's something that you believe in and you, you want to endorse on your, on your channel, then that's great. And you'll have people paying you money for that and also earn commissions on the back end if someone actually watches your video and decides to purchase. So you can see this is a perfect example. A reach uh, music channel is very small. It's a thousand subscribers, 1,700. And, you know, she was approached by uh, several companies to do sponsored videos and they were willing to, you know, pay the money up front for her to do the video. And it's all how you structure your channel. Like the more mm -hmm. professional you look, the more, not, not like in a business way, but you know, you look like you have your stuff together. You look like you know what you're doing on your channel. Like her titling, you know, her titling her videos, the, the tutorial videos. She, she has a channel teaching other artists how to do this DIY music thing, how to get mm -hmm. on Spotify, how to do that kind of thing. And so when you position yourself um, in a certain way, you'll have companies being like, yeah, I want that person talking about my product or service or website or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're willing to pay. We have a couple more questions here. Yeah, let's do it. Um, we've got here, Isaac, is it difficult as a channel that does reviews to become an affiliate marketer? I don't think it's a, I like this kind of affiliate marketing because it's, for me, it's like a, it's an easier method. You don't have to build any um, funnels or anything like that. You just share your honest reviews. Like you just talk about the product, you know, we've done a product review on this thing on this mouse, like every, everything you see in everything this office, we love. <laughs> we've pretty much uh, done a product review on, and it's just sharing what you like about it. And if there's a couple things that can be improved, and when you do that, like other companies reach out and they're like, can you talk about our product too? And, and they'll send you stuff and they'll pay you and they'll offer an affiliate program for their item. So I personally don't think it's difficult when this whole thing was going down. So here in Vancouver on March 16th is when they announced that pretty much everything was closing. And um, right away I said, we need to get on a live stream and tell people what they can do right now because there were people that were um, losing their jobs, being put on hold, like just like it was a cr crazy scary time for people. And But what I noticed right away was the YouTube was growing and it was exploding. And so I was telling people that would listen, anyone that was interested, um, here's a way to, to, an easy way to start to make money now. Start a YouTube channel and start reviewing products and or services that you enjoy, that you really like, that you already tell your friends and family about and just do a video on it because it'll have much greater reach than you telling your friend or your family member. 
and just share your experience. And if there's an affiliate program attached to that product and service, put it in the description. And that's the most basic way to get started without being monetized or knowing anything about um, marketing. Just do something like that and, yeah. and grow from there. And you don't need to build out full on websites. I know back in the day with affiliate marketers, you, you would have, you know, sometimes you build a, an entire website around a certain product to promote it and you send people there and earn affi affiliate commissions. But the way that we're teaching here is just, you're able to grab an affiliate link directly from that company like Amazon or whatever it might be and put that in your link. It takes them directly there for the purchase and they're managing all of that. So it's, um, yeah, your, your role in it is just to share something you're passionate about. So we have another question here from mm -hmm. Rizwan. What are the monetization ways for educational content on a particular niche like spirituality? Okay, so spirituality, let's say, um, what would a spiritual person be like? They probably have singing bowls, salt lamps, which one we have right there, mm -hmm. certain gems or uh, necklace types, um, oils, things like that. You, Those can all be done with reviews and probably found on Amazon. Think about education, right, or digital products. Um, any specific courses you have taken that have really helped you you can probably get an affiliate link for that. Um, if you have uh, like a PDF guide, you've purchased a book on Amazon about it, or you can create these digital products yourself as well, which is one of the ways we'll get into. And, um, and you know, you're essentially creating even more value. You're sharing more value with your audience that way. I've got another question here from Larissa. What is the difference again in sponsored videos with affiliate marketing? Sorry, I was a bit confused. I'm a big fan of your channel. Thank you so much. So uh, the, dif uh, the difference with uh, sponsored videos and with affiliate marketing. So when you are being sponsored by a company, they, if you get, if you get all of it, they will, if you get a good company, they will offer to pay you to film a video about their product or service. And they will also send you that product or service, and they will um, offer you an affiliate program for that product or service that you're talking about. So that's the trifecta that you ultimately want to get. Um, it depends on the company. So yeah, you can also earn affiliate on a sponsor video <laughs> And they could also pay you as well. Yeah, like so. paying you an actual sum amount to create that video and put it on your uh, channel. So we're just going to move on here. I want to make sure I want to get through all the content here that we have for you. And we'll take some more questions later on. Um, so the fourth way here that we want to share with you is, of course, your own products and services. So think about what product or service you can offer you can create that would be helpful to the audience that you're building. So this kind of ties into the question that we just had. If you're building an audience around teaching them the, the value of, you know, meditating or doing affirmations or whatever the case might be around spirituality, what is something that you cr can create uh, in terms of maybe it's like a digital product, maybe it's a consulting, one-on-one -on -one consulting. Uh, it can be a, a PDF guide. It could be a course. I'll share with you some of the ways that we, we have created. So, but that's, that's one question to ask yourself. And the other question as well is what YouTube videos can you create that will attract the right audience for your offer? So if you already have a product or a service that you offer in your business, but you don't necessarily have a YouTube channel yet, or you're just starting one, then think about what videos can you create that will provide value to your viewers, maybe teaching them something or, um, you know, sharing again, a product or service that you're passionate about, just what value can create in, in that video that will attract that audience. So to give you an example, um, one of our, uh, our services that we offer is one-on-one -on -one Camtasia editing lessons. So Camtasia is a video editing software that we use to edit all of our videos, most of our videos. And um, we create tutorials on our channel on different aspects of how to edit those videos. Because we know that these are, you know, whoever is searching for those types of videos, they need help with, with the software, with some aspect of the software of how to use Camtasia. 
And, you know, that's the kind of audience that we want to attract because if they don't, um, if they need a little bit more help in terms of completing their video project, then we're right there offering our service of one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons for editing as well. Uh, and we also have a online course on Camtasia as well. So we're giving them different options there. This is, this is how we um, use that, utilize that specific way to monetize on our YouTube channel is we created uh, various online courses and we just, we're just building up our Creative Business Academy right now. This is built on Teachable, but you don't need to self-host your courses. You can create an online course and then put it on a site like Udemy. Um, there's a lot of other ones out there as well. Uh, there's Skillshare, there's many different platforms. I don't know if you want to touch upon yeah, specifically so, the differences. Uh, we started putting our courses on, on Udemy, Udemy. Udemy or Udemy. <laughs> yeah, or, and Skillshare and some other ones that aren't so public mm -hmm. because they have their own traffic. So Udemy is like an Amazon, but for online courses. And so people put tons of courses on all different kinds of things, all different um, for fitness, for tech, um, you know, learning how to make money online like we do. And that's, we create tutorial videos. We do the freemium model. So we give free value. And then in the description, if you want more, if you want more in-depth stuff, then you can purchase our course or you can talk to us directly. And you, we give that option to uh, the viewer, to the fan, to the customer so that they can choose. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't happen right away. They need repeated exposure of seeing us all the time. But I would say that, you know, creating an online course, creating your own digital product, it's awesome because you create it once. You do need to do some updates on it if, if things are changing within the course. And then it sells over and over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And again, we use our YouTube channel. We'll do a video on, I'll do a video on Camtasia. And then in the description at the end, after I've given the value, the free value, I mention my course really quick at the end. And, you know, people can decide if they want to take it or not. Yeah, she'll say something like, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, I do have a full nine plus hour course where I go into more depth with the video editing software, which you can feel free to check out in the description below. So something like that, where you can invite people for more if they want to take that action. You can also offer services. So these are some of the services that we often, you know, link our YouTube videos to because again, it allows people to dive into your world even more. They've learned something on your YouTube channel, but what if they just want to outsource that project? Um, you know, we, we offer services, we do one-on-one -on -one YouTube mentoring, and we talk a lot about YouTube on the channel. So that option is there for people. So each of the things that, each of the products that you see here, we do videos on. We do free yeah. tutorials, in-depth tutorials, um, multiple videos, and then, we do our little selling thing at the end and in the description of the video. Yeah, so you can come at it from different ways. If you already have a product or service that you're offering, you can think about how you want to create uh, content on your YouTube channel to attract that audience that would be interested in that. Or if you already have, you know, you're starting a YouTube channel, but you don't have a product or service yet, start to think about that. You know, how can you take your viewer to the next level to actually become uh, a customer of yours with a product or service that you can create. So way number five, I'm just gonna check the time here. All right, good, awesome. So the fifth way is that you can sell merchandise from your channel. So this is particularly great if you know, you're not, um, you just want to be entirely focused on brand building and community and you're just this is this is like a something that you want to you just focus on growing a loyal following and you don't necessarily want to create a product or service or anything like that you can offer you know branded merchandise on your youtube channel so yeah like, that's right i actually have one right here so we have our um our tagline underneath our logo is dare to be dream driven so we offer, you know, we have mugs and t-shirts that we just, it's just a simple quote that we created and you can offer this merchandise 
through your YouTube channel in various different ways. And you can touch upon that. Yeah. So don't think that we have like a hundred mugs sitting in the back there. We don't no. have any actual merchandise. We don't want any of that kind of stuff. So we use print on demand. So print on demand is when someone orders that mug, then it gets printed in another facility in the United States and they mail it off for us and then we get our cut and then they get our cut. So it's very hands off. That's why we like print on demand. And um, with merchandise, YouTube recently accompanied uh, with uh, Teespring. They are a print on demand company. You might've heard of them. You might've ordered stuff from them. Uh, when you have a certain amount of YouTube subscribers, you can get uh, your Teespring integrated with your YouTube channel. But a lot of people think, oh, I don't have the integration. I can't sell my merchandise. No, that's not the case. You can still sign up for a Teespring account or any other company that does print on demand. There's Redbubble and other companies. And you upload your designs and you can offer those products in the description of your YouTube video. When you're a YouTuber, the description is your best friend. You love the description. It's like the holy grail. You want specific links in there because people always go in the description to check out what was that link they were talking about. And so when you want to create your own merchandise, you don't need to have, you don't need to put up a lot of money up front to get t-shirts or whatever made and then store them and then, you know, ship them out. You can use companies like Teespring and Redbubble and you can, you know, purchase your own stuff and wear it in your videos, have that mug there. I'm often drinking that mug and you tell people in the description of the video, if you want a mug like this, if you want to support the channel, then you can purchase that in the description below. So you don't actually need the integration with Teespring. So your only role to get this created is to uh, design, is to create the design itself, right? Maybe it's a quote. Maybe it's an image, maybe it's something put together. You can either outsource it to somebody to create that. You can use a site like, uh, you can use a site like Fiverr or Upwork to, um, to find someone who will design it for you. Or you can literally just go into yeah. something like Canva and um, this was so simple. type like, in This is just quote. a font and you just type out the words and then center it. Yeah, and what you do then is you upload the design to Teespring if you're using the YouTube shelf, which looks something like this, by the way. So underneath the underneath your video, YouTube puts this little merch shelf right underneath every single video that you have on your channel. And it will display this merchandise. It's just, it's easy. It's an integration that they, you know, you don't have to fiddle with any coding or anything like, anything like that. You just kind of like link those two together. So you're uploading the design to Teespring, and then when a customer purchases through this, this merch shelf, they print the product and for you ship and out. ship it to the customer. So you're not dealing with any of that kind of stuff. And if, if there's returns and stuff, they deal with that and you don't even know about it. Yeah, and I heard someone <laughs> say that um, they were thinking or they were looking into selling more masks. Think about doing this print on demand oh, with yeah. your masks because that's a huge market right now. Etsy's going crazy with masks right now. So yeah. is Redbubble. All these print on demand companies are um, selling designed masks and they're blowing up right now. Yeah. So you uh, do you know the, the eligibility for the merch shelf? for the YouTube Teespring merch shelf? So to get this shown below your video, you do need 10,000 subscribers. But okay. like I said, you you can literally go to Teespring, sign up for a free account, upload your designs, and just put a link in the description of your videos yeah. saying you've got merch. And it's the same kind of thing. So you can do that with Te uh, Teespring. You can do it with an Etsy store and integrate it with a, um, a company like Printful where the order goes directly from Etsy to Printful. They print it, ship it out to the customer. There's different things you can do. And we have tutorials on our channel as well um, on that. So yeah, don't think like you need to reach the 10,000 subscribers in order to do something like this. People will still purchase merchandise from you if you have those links available in the description. Uh, so someone was saying um, that only works with Teespring. Yes, this whole integration. This merch shelf that's integrated with YouTube in, and you need 10,000 subscribers for that. 
yes, you do need that. But, but if you don't, like if you have another company that you want to use, like Vistaprint or whatever company, then you can just sign up for that and then put your links in the description. You can actually still use Teespring if you want on your own. It's just that you won't, if you don't, if you don't have that 10,000 subscriber uh, milestone, then you just won't have this shelf display like this. You won't have the the ability to do this integration, but you will have the ability to put your links to your Teespring store in your description. Okay. Um, we have some other question about SEO. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to teaching a skill, what kind of prior research or considerations did you have to determine if something is worth pursuing? Also seeing how many keyword skills are already saturated on different platforms with content. How do you avoid getting lost in the later search results? One word. Marie knows all about that. Two buddy. <laughs> One word. Um, so we, we use a tool called TubeBuddy. We love it very much. We actually, we, that's one of the, um, the tools affiliate that we program. use and yeah, and that we endorse and we have our affiliate link in the description of those videos. So TubeBuddy allows you to see what, uh, what phrase is highly searched and also what is, uh, what has not as much competition for your specific channel to rank. So there's a lot of tools out there that will still give you that information, whether, you know, if it's highly searched phrase, but TubeBuddy specifically weighs your, the size of your channel. It weighs, you know, the average amount of videos that you get or the average amount of views that you get on your videos and a bunch of other things. It looks at your channel and gives you a score out of a hundred, whether or not you, that, whether or not your channel can rank for that specific phrase, if you were to create a video on it. So um, we have an entire course on that as well, but hopefully that answers your question. Definitely check out TubeBuddy and uh, I invite you to come over to our channel as well and just type in TubeBuddy into the search on our channel and you'll see a bunch of tutorials on that. I'll type it into the chat because it might be, people might not know how to spell it. Awesome, so uh, I'll just move on here to the sixth way, super chats and super stickers as well. This is specifically a way that you can monetize during live streaming. Well, you can actually, you can, even if you're doing a live stream, you can monetize with all those other ways as well, as long as you have your links in the description. But this is another way. Do you want to go ahead and explain it? Yeah. So the way that super chats and super stickers work is when you are doing live streams, your viewers uh, have the ability to donate live to you. So there's a button and sometimes when there's so many co like um, comments happening and they want their comment to be seen because when you, when you put a it's, a, it's a way to do a paid comment and it like highlights it in a very bold color and like you, you see it right away. So the person who's doing the live stream, like it gets their attention. So that's another way to earn uh, income while doing live streams. And we started doing live streams during this whole quarantine thing. And we actually had a live stream every day since March 25th. And we went for 65 days straight and we called it the quarantine life. Yeah. And it was at 6 p.m. PST every day. And uh, we were doing these live streams. And uh, yeah, if someone wants to get your attention, they will do a super chat donation. So that's another cool way. YouTube is always trying to give more ways for the creator to monetize. So it's really cool that they've added this feature. Yeah, people, I mean, there's many different reasons for why someone will give you a super chat donation. Um, in our live streams, particularly, you know, we find that when we're giving a ton of value, we're answering someone's questions, um, we're just engaging with our, and connecting with our audience. We're teaching something. Um, that's when we see some people donating or, you know, they just want to support as well. This is all, this comes, I, I think this is more comes into play when you're, um, you have that loyal following, you're building that loyal following and they, they see you on a regular basis and they get to connect with you. We never did anything like this with the daily live streams. Um, this was the first time that we did it uh, and we went all in for 65 days straight doing the live streams and it's so cool because you'll see people coming back over and over again, regulars to the live streams and you 
you really start to build like a close knit community. If you tell people often when you're going to go live, what day and what time, and you make it known everywhere that, you know, you're going to be there to support people. You're going to show up. If they have any questions, you can invite them to come ask at that time. And as long as, you know, you're giving value in some way, it doesn't have to be teaching. You know, you could be like an artist. Um, you're doing your live shows, you know, because they know that you can't go out and perform anywhere right now because there's no events, but you're just at home, you know, strumming your guitar, you're entertaining, you're inspiring. Um, you will see those donations come through. And, you know, all of this stuff coming together, it all adds up. Um, it, it's not like, you know, you're going to make, you have a ton of money from one donation. You actually might actually have <laughs> a lot of money. It depends on how loyal your following is and how much value you, you give, but it's all adding up together. If you have these things, we don't get many super chats, but we once had someone donate a hundred dollars to us yeah. in one go. And we were like shocked and you just never know what's going to happen on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So that's um, specifically a function um, when you're live streaming is those super chat donations. And the final way here that we want to touch upon is memberships. So this is where you're inviting your viewers and for exclusive content, VIP content that you can offer and they'll pay a monthly fee in order to get access to that exclusive content uh, and perks as well. So there's uh, different ways that you could do this. There's, again, the YouTube way where they, um, what was the eligibility for that? Again? So uh, we're at now 31,000 subscribers mm -hmm. and we just hit uh, 30,000 subscribers like a couple months ago. And so it unlocks uh, certain things. You get um, unlocked to certain uh, features when you hit different subscriber milestones. Mm -hmm. So we just literally got access to memberships like two weeks ago. So we still need to build it up and turn it on. But when you turn it on, it allows people to uh, subscribe to your channel with a membership. So if they really like what you're doing, they love the content and they want more, they want more behind the scenes, more access, um, private live streams, that kind of thing, they can get it through the YouTube memberships. Now, you know, you might not have 30,000 subscribers and that's where Patreon comes in. So there are a lot of people who create Patreon accounts. Again, same thing with the whole Teespring thing. You don't need to have the integration. You just put your Patreon link. So Patreon is a separate website, a membership thing where you offer people different levels of membership. And, you know, you might have a level one membership, a level two, like different kinds of memberships and people subscribe for the different levels and then you can promote it in your YouTube channel. So there are a lot of artists, uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of creatives, a lot of artists. They say, if you like what I'm doing, you like my art, you like this, you like the jewelry or whatever it is. Um, you guys can support my journey by, um, you know, subscribing to my Patreon. And a lot of people do very well on their Patreon. We haven't done it ourselves, but we know a lot of other YouTubers who have utilized this. And um, we're going to be exploring the YouTube memberships um, within the next month or so. Yeah, and you can create different levels of memberships. Like I know someone, um, he's a composer and a, pian a pianist. And he, um, you know, he, he created like a bronze level where people will get uh, prior access to uh, his new releases before they're actually released. His middle level one is they'll receive that and also get access to him doing uh, live streams and be able to attend those live streams with one on one time with him. And there's a gold version where they get all of that. Uh, plus, they'll actually get to be able to participate in his creation, like of actually composing a new song on his piano or, um, you know, you can get creative with, with what it is that you're offering. But what we want to empower you with here is that you don't just have to go the YouTube way and wait for these, wait until you meet the eligibility criteria in order to, you know, get approved for AdSense or get approved for the Teespring thing or the memberships. No, you could do this yourself. There's other, there's other ways that you can go and um, set these things up 
And then just by, you know, inviting people to check this out, by you providing value in your videos and building a loyal following that way, people will want to buy from you. They will. So quick question here. Uh, what is the ed eligibility for Super Chats? I believe you need to be monetized. So you need to have the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours and have monetization turned on. Um, yeah, I, I believe that that's it. But again, you could put your, you know, I know there's different payment processing systems like PayPal. They have a specific donate link like PayPal me. Um, if you're eliciting donations from whatever it is that you're speaking about in your video, you could put those links um, in your live stream or, you know, in a, in a pre-recorded video even and invite people to donate that way. So here's a quick summary of the seven ways that you can do to monetize your YouTube channel is through Google ads, affiliate, sponsorships, providing your own offers, like creating your own products or services, offering merchandise, which is specifically, is very good for, you know, brand building, uh, communities, super chats, and memberships. So what we want you to know though, about all of this stuff that we just talked about is that you have to feed your channel consistently with great quality content if you want it to feed you both spiritually and in, in a fulfilling way as well as physically by providing you know by making revenue for you you really have to focus on creating quality content and growing a loyal following here this goes back to the the two takeaways that i mentioned earlier right is that it's not necessarily the size of your channel that's going to increase your wallet here it's the quality of your channel it's the quality of your content the quality of your following uh, depends on what you're talking about but it really comes down to quality you can make a lot of money with a thousand loyal very loyal subscribers and um, more so than a channel that has millions of subscribers. Honestly, you can. It, it all comes down to the quality. That's why we always preach, you know, make sure you're very passionate about the content that you're teaching. This is something that's gonna be fulfilling to you because that energy will come across on the other end for the viewer and you're gonna just be in it. You're gonna be creating great quality content for them and really connecting with your, your, uh, your viewers. And that's what they want. And that's what you want to, because that's what's going to um, feed you in terms of growing a successful YouTube channel. And the again, looping back to that second takeaway that we want you to pick at least one of these things, just know that you don't need to do it all. You really don't. Um, as I said, for my music channel, I just got approved for the AdSense, um, but I've mainly been making money through the sponsorship stuff. And I, you know, I haven't gone and sought out these people. It's just, again, for me creating good quality content consistently on my channel. So you don't need to do it all. Choose the way that aligns with your existing goals. So, you know, maybe you're a, um, maybe you just, you know, you already have products and services that you want to offer and you, you, or you have a course, let's say, then go back to that, that way that I was talking about, about creating content. Think about what kind of content can you create that will attract that audience that is perfect for that course. You know, maybe it's just something that you want to build a community around. You just want to, this is just your side hustle. You just want to focus on, um, sharing your journey as an artist or creative, whatever it might be, uh, you know, for you, it might just be the merch stuff that you want to focus on. You, you have your designs printed on t-shirts or your artwork printed on, on merchandise. It really depends up to you. It, it really focus on something that aligns with your existing goals because going, you know, you want to make it as easy as possible for you and don't go against resistance and trying to force something or one of these ways to make it work because it, it's all got to flow. It's all got to flow and be, um, and, and tie back into the quality content that you can create on your YouTube channel. And like we've worked with so many different kinds of channels. It's really yeah. cool to see how people can create channels on all different kinds of subjects. So you saw the one there, Product Patrol, he does like food reviews. 
And then there's someone who uh, talks about uh, disasters, like uh, natural disasters. Yeah. And she, that's her channel. And she interviews a lot of people and she gets a lot of people through LinkedIn. And then there's one about child parenting. There's one about, uh, what does Kevin do again? He, he talks about eating disorders. Yeah, eating disorders, because he went through that. Yeah. And so that, that really means a lot to him. And he wants to create a channel to help people who are going through that kind of thing. Um, what's another, like- He monetizes oh, through like doing his consults, to just helping people one-on-one. -on -one. And another one, uh, there's another channel who does like, um, like spiritual affirmations. Mm -hmm. She has a great voice and she just does these like, um, she's not in the videos. She just has music and she's uh, speaking like uh, affirmations and it's for people to listen to, to like uh, for motivation or podcast type thing whenever they're doing work. Like it's really cool all the different kinds of channels we've worked with. Yeah, the ideas are endless guys on how, on what you, what content you can create and how you can monetize your channel. So with that in mind, talking about the, we're just uh, about to wrap it up here, but um, going back to your content, I really wanted to provide a resource for you guys and also to our community where I help you come up with some of those ideas for your content planning. Because again, the key, the key to growing your YouTube channel, guys, is don't go crazy focusing on the numbers. Um, focus on the content. It's to be consistent with your content. So I have, uh, I created a guide here. There's 11 pages of it. There's 12 ready to film YouTube video ideas in this, in this guide. And it also has prompts for you. So I ask you specific questions that once you've elicited those answers, you've written them down in your journal or on a piece of paper, you will have a ready ready-made outline or script for your video when it comes to actually filming it. So making it super easy for you guys. Um, if you're releasing one video a week on your channel, this is 90 days worth of content for you. So um, you can download that guide by going to our website at estatinoartist.com. And also at the end of the guide, we'll, uh, I have more resources for you in terms of you know, the SEO course that we talked about, the filming setup, all that kind of stuff. We want to help you with those different steps. All of those resources and links are in the guide as well. So yeah, that concludes our presentation. Uh, please do stay in touch with us. We want to invite you to reach out to us. There's a contact form on our website as well if you want to send us a message. And I'd also love to offer anybody who just wants to kind of throw ideas around together and get our feedback. Um, I want to offer you a free 30 minute strategy call with myself and Jewel. So my email address is right here on the screen so you guys can take that down and um, we'd love to hear from you. So any questions? I, are there any more questions in the There's chat? There's lots of cool comments. Um, oh, there was one question here. Um, is it possible to give a tip on monetization using evergreen, sorry, using evergreen webinar, using live streaming? I see many people doing that. What tool is used? In terms of live streaming? So we, we do our live streaming with a tool called StreamYard. And StreamYard allows you to uh, stream to multiple platforms at once. Uh, we have the plan that allows you to stream to two because uh, we, we only need Facebook and YouTube. That's where we want to stream. But you can go up to five. There's like Twitch, uh, Twitter. You can even stream on LinkedIn as well with this platform. And it allows you to create um, to, to see all of the comments come in from those different platforms in one place. And it also like allows you to create a branded presence. So you can create a banner, a nice banner, um, and also call the actions that, you know, whatever you're talking about in your live stream, again, you can invite people to check out your product or service. Um, Cause I'm assuming you're creating, you're doing this webinar to sell a product or service. And, um, and then you can, you know, use that that way to, to sell. If you tune in to our weekly mastermind on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. PST on Thursday, every Thursday, um, you'll see how we do our live stream. You'll see the software StreamYard. You'll see all the comments pop up, how it's branded. Pretty much every live stream that we do, we get people asking us, what are you streaming on? What is this software? Yeah, and so cool. we have our affiliate link in the description of the video. And we pretty much have had that software paid for the year because People just keep seeing us live streaming and because Arit did a great job branding it, um, we get these affiliate sales.
Yeah. That's, that's also another way to, um, to monetize guys is by getting, getting access to free platforms and products and services that you use that you would, you mm-hmm. would gladly pay for, but you're getting it free because you're just, again, you know, sharing how passionate you are about it. And then people are clicking on your link to also go, go and check that product or service out. So I think we've mentioned, or we've uh, addressed all the questions in the chat. Roger, I don't know if we have time to address questions live here. I, it's chat. a little after nine o'clock and uh, we always try and keep our word to begin sharp at seven and end sharp at nine. Uh, Arit and Jewel, uh, you just uh, did not disappoint. You gave us some wonderful information, shared your wisdom, shared your experience, did so from the heart. I don't think any of our attendees would have any reason to be disappointed with what you gave them this evening. I'm assuming